on that label of that particular product, there is a red label of which within our, our, our procedures when we categorize this type of products, that is a danger. Uh, and whatever product that is sold in the local, there are others that are sold in the, in, in the market but that are having the same label, the, the red label. But there are certain procedures on how and who should access those products. Mm. But this one is being sold illegally, it's, it's imported illegally. That means anybody can have access to it. People that are selling it, they probably got it illegally because it did not go through our normal procedures. And that is a danger because when you have uh, a round of this product being sold anywhere, and, uh, anyhow, uh, and the fact that it's being utilized in the kitchens, where where cockroaches are normally are in the houses, that is a danger to the people, to the families and to the households. And those implications, as we speak, they can be very dire and causing any, any harmful to the people. And they, they require us now to act as a sector so that we can be able to say we are protecting the people that are buying and also the people that are having this product that are selling. It's not just about uh, business. We understand the aspect of business, but we also want our people to do business in a safe manner. Musheko explained that most pesticides and insecticides have a long-lasting side effects and while some might show immediately, others may manifest later. We have not picked up from the public, some are, are talking about difficulty in breathing and mm. we, we have also gotten uh, confirmation that those that have gotten, uh, gotten some of these impl implications, they have reached out to health hospitals so that they can get help. But we wouldn't want the public to keep trading with this product because we, we are yet to do a proper research. Because remember, when something is illegally imported, we, that means we haven't gotten access to it properly and we take it through our lab and test and also confirm with other countries and standards to see what more, how, how dangerous can it be to, to humanity and to our people. The ministry says it will take steps against those selling boom and the public is urged to stop buying and selling the product. We have first to uh, educate the people that this what you are trading with and this is what you are buying and this what you are possessing is dangerous. We want to make the people understand first. We have started with this campaign now two weeks, educating the people and creating awareness. After, uh, in few days time, we will now start confiscating this product wherever we find it. Just yesterday I went, I drove to Chinatown just to observe where they are usually selling it. But the moment they saw the, the government car, you see them hiding behind. That means the message has gotten them that it's illegal. But after a few days, we will start then confiscating and there in, we will also come in with the aspect of uh, finding those that will be found with it, even after we have shared more information about it and the danger it possesses to the, to the public.